Okay, so we're going to talk about the formation of cliffs, coastal cliffs. Now, the land starts off going down towards the sea. And the sea will be in two layers. The first layer we call the high water mark. And then when the tide goes out, the sea level reduces. And we would call that the low water mark. Now, erosion is going to take place wherever the water is moving against the land. So we're going to be looking at between here and here. Now as that section there erodes, it's going to wear away the land. So that what you've got is something that looks a little bit more like this. Now that process continues, eroding further and further backwards. Now this notch here leaves an area of land above it which is unsupported. And that section there therefore becomes uh, quite vulnerable and eventually it's just going to fall into the sea. This allows the seawater to come further and further up. Now that process is going to continue again because between the high water mark and the low water mark you're going to have this erosion taking place again. Now, as you can see, this process is just continuing and the cliff is retreating further and further inland each time it erodes, getting steeper and steeper and steeper. What you're going to end up with then is a cliff face, which is almost vertical. And on any bits of cliff that haven't recently eroded, you will get vegetation growth. And that's why at the tops of cliffs, you can see vegetation. And on the cliff face itself, where it's recently fallen, you don't get that vegetation. This process continues again and again and again. Now, what you're left with here is... Um, the cliff, which is here, you often see a wave cut notch, which is here, and this here, this area that hasn't been able to erode because it's it's really at low water mark, is called the wave cut platform, and that is all there is to the formation of cliffs. Let's recap cliff formation. Question one. Why are there two watermarks, a high watermark and a low watermark? Well, high watermarks and low watermarks um, mark the incoming and outgoing of the, of the tides. So the high tide and the low tide. Question two. Why are wave cut notches formed at the base of cliffs? Well, the sea can only really erode the part where it's moving and where it touches, and that's the base of the cliff, in between the high water mark and the low water mark. So a wave cut notch is an indent in the cliff formed between high and low water marks. Question three. What causes a wave cut platform? Well, the water doesn't tend to erode underneath the surface. It tends to erode where the water's moving at the surface between high and low water mark. The wave cut platform is found just below or on the low water mark where there's very little erosion. So it shows that the cliff above is eroded, but the actual wave cut platform tends to stay in one piece. And that's, that's all for the clips.